Hi guys, it's your girl Kill Chemist, and I am popping on camera to do a demo for you guys. Um, so if you've been on my channel for a while, then you know that probably sometime last year, I did a video showing how you could get your locks underneath a naturally textured hair wig. Um, and I was demoing the Tony wig from my girl Tony Daly at TonyDaly.com. Um, and I was super excited. I purchased the wig with my own money and I really wanted to kind of give myself an option to switch it up. Again, at that time I was showing you how to get all of your hair under that half wig by, you know, braiding it down and putting the wig cap on and whatnot. Um, and a lot of you found that video very helpful. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it somewhere up above and in the description bar. So you can definitely check that out. It also has links to Tony Daly's website and where you can find the Tony wig, the Gabriel wig, the Big Chop wig. I think now she has a blowout style as well. All of her wigs are there. And if you go to her channel, of course, there's even more information and, and videos. And if you Google or search the Tony wig, there's tons of videos of people doing their first impressions and trial. So you can see. Um, but what I am doing now, she actually asked me to do an additional video, a follow up video, because some people were saying that they watched my video and they attempted what I did, but they could not for the life of them get all of their hair underneath the Tony wig. Um, and conceal their locks. And the thing is, the Tony wig, it is a half wig. It is not a full wig, but I just happen to have a small enough head and my hair is not super, super thick. Um, so I was able to make it happen. So she asked me to come back and do another video where I could still show styling options for lock wearers or braid wearers or what have you um, with the Tony wig but where you're using it more as a half wig. So I was more than happy to do so. And she sent me another Tony wig to play around with because my last one I've chopped up into a little TWA style. But nonetheless, I am here and I'm going to show you what I came up with. Um, and that's why my hair is already kind of looking crazy right now. So um, without further ado, first let me show you the wig. I've already taken it out of the bag and the packaging. And really this is redundant if you find any video on Tony Wig, you're going to get all this information ahead of time. But it basically comes, you know, in a box, plain box with just the label on the side. So no one knows that you're buying a wig if you want to be inconspicuous, plain white box. Um, and uh, in it, you get your wig. This is the Tony Wig. This is in a number four. It will come in a plastic bag with a net over top of it with paper stuffed under the inside to keep the shape. You will also get two wig caps. This came with brown wig caps because I guess this is a sort of lighter color even though it looks pretty dark on me. Um, it also comes with instructions for how to take care of the Tony or the Gabe wig and I assume there are in care instructions for other styles as well. So that's always very helpful. It gives you everything from storage, cleaning, and other tips on that. You will also typically get free gifts with it. Maybe a tube wrap will be included with yours. Mine didn't include that because I, I have tons of them and I sort of don't even bother because I'm, you know, doing this as a, uh, like a collaboration demo video for her. Um, and you will typically get some type of earrings or something. I know there's been some, I'm just going to give my two cents on this. There's been some complaints or controversy about the type of free gift people either want to choose what they get for free or people don't like the free gift okay anyway it's free and I'm just gonna leave it at that so um without further ado I'm going to get started I'm going to explain to you what I've already done to prep my locks I pretty much put them in four ponytails down the center like so um, kind of like if I were doing a lock hawk style or something. And the reason I've done that, so my hair, if you can see on the ends, is lighter on the ends. And then my roots have grown out quite a bit, which is why this is now working. When I first got the wig, I had dyed my hair recently and it was just too light. But now I'm going to focus on using that new growth as leave out. Um, it won't be like leave out that's hanging, but it will serve as like a slicked back effect for the wig. So that's why I have this going on. Next thing I'm going to do is put this wig cap. Primarily, I'm putting it over the loose hair to conceal it. I am not so much worried about trying to get it all over my head because I'm planning to leave this out. So here's the wig cap that I am using. This is the brown one. And as you can see, I am covering 
my locks. I'm going to just stuff my locks in there. And I know you're thinking that is going to be really bulky. How is she going to get the wig over it? Now, I would not recommend you try this for a slick, sleek wig, but since this is a textured hair wig, it's okay that it's bulky looking because the wig is going to camouflage the bulk. So now this is what I have going on. Now I am going to take the wig um, quickly. This is what the cap looks like. There is a comb in the front. No, that's the back comb. Comb in the front that's a little bit longer and wider. And then you have your straps, which I am terrible at hooking, but I'm going to try. So because, again, I want this to show. And I don't care. Like, now, let me just say this. If you want to get you some gel and a toothbrush and slick it all up and everything, knock yourself out. For me, I think it looks more authentic, you know, kinked up. And I don't really retwist or try to manipulate my roots very often. So I'm fine with it looking nappy because my hair is nappy and I'm okay with that. All right. So I'm going to use the front comb and I'm going to set that comb just, you know, again, just beyond where you can see the colored ends as best I can. And so I'm going to take that and whoop, stick it in there. I've got to look in the mirror a little bit here, y'all. I'm not dissing y'all, but i got to look to the side. Okay, I'm just going to stick that in there so it's nice and snug. And then I'm going to pull the wig down over all the bulk and find that comb in the back. And I'm going to stick that comb in the back, in the back. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm sticking it under like that. And, you know, just kind of play around with the size. Now, I always have poor success strapping these little bra strappy strap thingies, but I'm going to attempt it if I can find it. Okay. Tell you what, we're going to save time. We're just going to tuck that one that I did find under there. But you could also use that to give you some extra security. I feel pretty good about this. So now, now that I have it on, you can already see that it just looks cute. Just like this. A little bit of leave out in the front. It looks cute. Like, it's it's wearable. It's doable. Um, I give myself a little side part action. You know, and I would just totally rock this just like this honestly but for demo purposes i'm going to give you some other options so you can also use your tube wrap that will definitely help further conceal your you know locked edges i mean this is what my edges look like you know, so clearly you can see i have locks on the side but if you want to kind of further conceal that then take this tube wrap pull it over like so and then just use that as like a head wrap, like a two, not a head wrap, but a headband. Um, and these come in a variety of colors and patterns and they change up on the website. So definitely check her out. Go to Tony Daly's website and you will find these tube wraps. So, you know, I could wear it, you know, kind of low if I want to, you know, like that. Or I could pull it up a little, you know, higher in the front and still show a little hairline action. And I have that going on and pull this over the ear and all that good stuff. And then I could also kind of create a puff, if you will. What I'll do is I'll take the back, pull it up kind of high. And then take the front, pull it up a little higher like so and now I am back to my old natural hair days where I got a big old puff situation happening and I feel kind of like very cute right now Can y'all see what is happening okay and then of course you can't be rocking your Tony wig or your Gabriel wig or whatever without rocking your Tony Daly earrings. And I just happen to have a pair of these natural beauty earrings on deck. Cause I mean, I'm real natural today. You know, skin all clean. I did fill in my brows cause you know, ain't nobody got time to not at least be missing an eyebrow. But yeah, brows are filled in, but face is clean. Let me put on some chapstick, but 
you know, so here we go. You can rock your puff like you used to rock it and have your locks underneath, chilling, getting a break. You know, if you need a break from retwisting, this would be great. A great option to still keep it natural, but, you know, give your hair a little break, a little resty rest underneath, and you don't have to comb your locks out. I know a lot of people have been cutting their locks off, and everybody's afraid that I'm going to get ready to do the same thing, but fear not. Um... I'm still rocking my locks, people. So, yeah, guys, here is my puff. And again, if I don't want the puff, here is, I just rock this as like a little bandana situation. If you get your tube wrap on the packaging, it does show that you can rock this as a necklace. I'm just letting you know. Um, and so, yeah, I could just fluff that out. I mean, endless possibilities of fun. And with the other wigs and textures, I mean, you can really just enjoy this. So I hope you guys have found this helpful. Thank you so much, Tony, for again, allowing me to demo your problem. Well, the first time I just did it because I bought that wig. But this time I'm doing the demo just to show because I totally, totally love and support you and the boy. And I just want you guys to be great so that you can hire me someday and I can quit my job and, you know. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, guys, so, you know, hopefully you found this helpful. If you have questions or comments, please place them below. If you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up um, and all that good stuff. I didn't realize I was showing y'all all my midriff action. Don't look at it, though, because I have not been to the gym. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, guys, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Um, please subscribe if you haven't, although I've been a little off with posting videos, but if you check back a few videos, I can fill you in on what's been going on with me and why I've been off. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think about me with some new hair. I just took the braids out. Now I got some loose hair. What in the world? All right. Bye, guys. Mwah.